Now with AI, it feels like you can skip everything and just jump to the final output. A landing page done in 30 seconds with Lovable. A mobile app built with Replit overnight. A marketing campaign just prompt a bunch of tools like ChatGPT and VO3 and it's sorted. It feels like a lottery, but it isn't. Because here is the truth that no one talks about. You might be able to generate a working prototype using AI, but most AI outputs are like black boxes. They look shiny on the outside, but inside they're full of technical debt, unpredictable bugs and zero documentation. So even if you end up building something with the help of AI in one tenth of the time, you won't really know how to maintain it, scale it or fix it when something breaks. And a lot of stuff breaks when you launch something into the market. So what is the right approach? The right way is to follow the echo loop. Most product building courses are not talking about this. Here is how this model works. Start with carefully understanding the user and define the problem statement. This will be a result of hundreds of customer calls and sitting in your user persona's office. Then use AI to rapidly prototype a version from A to Z. Then once you've seen the final product, come back to A and reverse engineer each component using AI as a co-pilot. Now, while you're going from A to Z, fix all the edge cases and start documenting them. Rebuild the code flows manually and carefully fix the code for long-term usage. But why do we need to do this? Because you cannot troubleshoot something smartly unless you know how it was built.